start on your back with your soles of your feet together, knees out to the side. In butterfly pose, we'll place our left hand on our chest and our right hand on our belly. Allow your knees to fall out to the side, just connecting with the earth and all the points that are touching it through the outside edge of your feet, your lower back and your upper back. And taking some deep breaths and notice the chest and the belly rise as you breathe in. And as it falls, as you breathe out. Let's take four deep breaths. Last two. And last breath. And then using your hands to bring your knees together. And then hug your knees up to your chest into Apanasana and rolling your knees in a circle, rinsing out the lower back, go one direction and then the other. And then placing your feet on the ground with your knees bent, arms straight out from your shoulders. And let's take our knees to the right and turn our head to the left. And allow your shoulders to stay in contact with the earth. And let's take a couple of breaths here. Getting a nice twist through the upper back and a stretch through the left side of the body. One more breath. Inhale, bring your knees to centre. Exhale, bring your knees to the left and turn your head to the right. Allow your shoulders to stay on the mat. Taking a couple of nice deep breaths here. And then bring your knees back to centre and hug your knees up to your chest. Rolling your knees in a little circle, rinsing out the lower back. And then placing your hands behind your knees and roll yourself up to a seated position and come into tabletop. Placing your knees underneath your hips and opening up the hands, pressing the palms into the mat, stretching out the fingers. Let's do a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So we're going to inhale, lift our chest and lift our head. And exhale, nod your chin in and lift your spine up towards the ceiling or the sky, feeling a nice stretch through the upper back and the neck. And continue on for a couple more rounds at your own time. Let's do one more round. Then taking the knees wide, bring your buttocks down to your heels, coming into child's pose. Walking your fingers forward and bring your forehead down to the mat. Rock your hips from side to side and bring your forehead all the way down, touching the mat. And let's take four deep breaths in child's pose. Feeling all the points that are touching the earth, the palms of your head, hands, your forehead, your shins and the tops of your feet. One more breath here. And then coming up to tabletop. Let's go into thread the needle. We're going to move our right hand towards the middle of the mat. Inhale, lift up the left hand looking up the left thumb, opening through the heart, and then exhale, thread the left hand under the right. Bring that left shoulder and ear down. Scapula.
back up to tabletop. And let's take it to the other side. So this time bringing the left hand towards the middle of the mat. Inhale, lift up the right hand, open up through the chest and exhale, thread the right hand under the left and slide the left hand forward. And feeling that stretch through the right scapula. Taking four deep breaths here. And last breath. And inhale, come back up to tabletop. And tucking your toes under, lifting through the hips, coming into downward dog pressing the heels down into the mat. And you can walk the heels from side to side, just paddling the heels down, feeling that nice stretch down the back of the legs. Let's take two more breaths here. And then coming back down to the mat. And we're gonna do a little flow here. We'll do a flow between child's pose and upward dog so let's bring our hands to the mat and bring our body down into child's pose and then as you inhale bring your chest forward and your hips forward into upward dog feeling that stretch through the front of the hips and exhale back to child's pose let's go three more rounds just move with the breath taking your own time just relaxing, connecting with the body as you move. Exhaling into child's pose. And then inhaling as you come up into upper dog. Let's go one more round. And then coming back to centre, back to tabletop, and we'll move into lizard pose this time. So we're going to take our right foot and place the right foot next to our right hand. And you can leave your palms as they are. Just slide the left knee back a little bit so you feel a little bit more opening through the left hip, side, left hip flexor. So you can stay here or you can take it into twisted lizard lifting up the right hand and looking up towards the right thumb. So opening up through the chest. And let's take a couple of breaths here. And then exhale, bring the right hand down and bring the right knee back in line with the left. And let's take it to the other side. So take the left foot forward and place it next to the left hand. Slide the right knee back a little bit. Connecting with your breath here. And then if you wish to go to Twisted Lizard, lifting up the left hand and looking up towards the left thumb, opening up through the heart area. And then exhale, bring the left hand down, come back to tabletop. And let's take it into child's pose and just rest here, taking a couple of breaths here. And then inhale, coming back to tabletop, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up into downward dog and pressing your heels down into the mat. Let's take four breaths here. Just connecting with the stretch through the shoulders and through the backs of the legs. And then walking your feet out wide and walk your hands up underneath you, coming into a wide-legged forward bend. Allow your crown of your head to point down to the mat. And you can fold your arms and just hang upside down here. So feel that beautiful stretch through the back of the legs, the lower back. And all the weight has come off your spine and your neck and your shoulders. Let's take four deep breaths.
And one more breath. Allow your hands to come down to the mat and walk them forward, lifting up through the chest, stretching the back. And then heel toe your feet a little close together, walk your hands up your legs and come to standing. Nice. Okay, from here, we're going to bring our hands up over our head as we inhale. And we're going to exhale to the side. Inhale back to centre and exhale to the other side. Just having your feet underneath your hips so they're nice and comfortable. You feel nice and balanced. So feeling that beautiful stretch down the side of the body, you're getting some nice movement into your spine. And let's go one more each side. And then coming back to center and just rinsing out your shoulders, taking all the pressure off your shoulders, giving your legs a little shake. From here, we're gonna do our tree pose. So finding a drishti point and opening up the toes on the right foot, just moving your hips in a little circle, feel the anchor points underneath your big toe and your little toe and your heel on the right foot. Bring the left toes next to the right heel and lifting the left foot up either below the knee or above the knee bring the knee out to the side and just come into a little bit of stillness here working on our balance and coming back to your breath let's take two more breaths And then release and give your legs and hands a little shake. Let's take it to the other side. So we'll open up the toes on the left foot and move your hips in a little circle, noticing the anchor points under the left foot. Find your drishti point again, and then bring the right toe on the ground next to the left ankle. Bring your hands to heart center, and then pick the foot up so it's either below or above the knee, wherever works for you. And take the knee out to the side. And let's come into stillness on this side. Just coming back to your breath. And let's take one more breath here. And release. Give it a little shake. And from here, we're going to go into a little bit more. We've to, let's try dance a pose. So if you have something that you can hang on to next to you, that, that will be good to start with. So we're going to bend our left knee and bring our left foot into our left hand. So it's like we're going to stretch our quads here, bringing the knees together and the heels towards the bottom. And you can stay in this pose if you wish, or you can inhale and kick the left foot back and bring the right hand forward into dancer. And let's take a couple of breaths here. It's getting a really nice stretch through the left quad. One more breath and then release it. Good work. Give that a little shake and then let's take it to the other side. So right hand in, in the right foot, getting yourself nice and balanced. The knees are together and heel towards the buttocks. So you can stay here or you can inhale, kick back the right foot and bring the left hand forward. Let's take three breaths here. And then release it, give that a little shake. Nice work, ladies. From here, we're going to go into a yogi squat. So bring our feet a bit wider than our hips. And we're gonna bring our hands to heart center and we're gonna keep our chest up and come into a deep squat. So go wherever works for you. Try to keep your heels close to the ground if you can. And if you're coming into a nice deep squat, you can use your elbows to press against your knees so you get a really nice stretch through the groin area. So this one's called a yogi squat or goddess pose. Let's take three more breaths here. And 
and last breath. And then just bring your hands to the ground and come back up to standing. Give your legs a little shake. Good. And let's come to the back of the mat. We'll do our warrior sequence. So we're going to turn our left foot out slightly. Step forward with the right foot. Inhale, lift our arms up, raise our chest and raise our gaze. Bring the left hip forward. So get a nice stretch through the left hip flexor. Let's reach up nice and tall. And let's take a few breaths here. Let's take two more. And then exhale, folding forward and bring your arms behind your back, lengthening out the right leg. <laughs> hands behind your back and lift up through the chest and lift the hands off the lower back into humble warrior. Let's take a few breaths here. Connecting with that beautiful stretch through the shoulders and through the right hamstring. One more breath. And then release your hands down to the mat. If you have a block nearby, place the block next to the right foot. Place the right hand on it. Inhale, lift up the left hand and look up to the left thumb into triangle pose. Let's take four breaths here. And then exhale, bring the left hand down to the mat. And then inhale, slowly come back up to standing and come to the back of the mat. Good. Give your legs a little shake. And let's take it to the other side. Turn the right toe out slightly. Step forward with the left. Inhale, raise your gaze. Lift your arms up and bending the left knee over the left ankle. Reaching up nice and tall. Let's take four breaths here. Just connecting with that stretch through the right hip. And one more. Exhale, fold forward. Lengthening out the left leg. Bring the hands to clasp behind your back. Inhale, lift up through the chest and lift the hands off the lower back. Connecting with the stretch through the left hamstring and through the shoulders. Let's take two more breaths here. And then exhale, allow your hands to come down. Place the left hand next to the left foot on the block if you have one. Inhale, lift up the right hand and look up to the right thumb. So really opening up through the heart area. Feeling a nice stretch through the left hamstring. Let's take four breaths. And last one. And then exhale, bring the left hand down and inhale, come back up to standing. Nice. And then let's take our feet out nice and wide. Uh, heel toe them out as wide as you can. So the weight of your body is on the outside edge of your feet. And we're going to inhale, lift our arms up, look up, and exhale. We're going to slide our hands down our legs, coming into a wide legged forward bend. Bring our hands down to the ground, point the top of the head to the mat. Having your hands flat on the mat, a little bend in the elbows. Just moving the crown of your head down towards the mat. You can heel toe your feet a little wider, get a little lower. Let's take four deep breaths here. And then inhale, lift up through the chest. Walk your hands forward stretching out the back and then heel toe your feet a little closer together and come down onto the mat in a seated position with your legs out in front. So nice tall spine, the feet are flexed. 
En het inhalen lift jouw arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And reach out towards your toes if you can. If not, grab hold of your ankles or your shins. And let's gaze towards our big toes. And take four nice deep breaths here. And connect with the stretch through the back of your legs and the lower back. And one more breath. And then release your hands. Bring your chest back up. And we're going to go into a twist. So we're going to lift up the left leg and bring the left foot onto the outside of the right knee and bring the heel up close to you. Place the right hand on the left knee and left hand behind you and lifting up through the spine. Turn your body to the left as you bring the knee towards the right, bring the right knee. So you're coming into a nice twist through the spine. Let's take a few breaths here. Each time you exhale, twist a little more. One more breath. And then release and swap your legs over. So picking up the right knee and placing the right foot on the outside of the left knee. The heel's nice and close to your left thigh. Left hand on the right knee, right hand behind you around the middle of your back. Lifting the spine up nice and tall and then turning the body to the right side as you draw the knee towards the left side. Let's take four breaths here. Last breath. And then release. And bring your feet out in front again. Well, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And hopefully you've got a little bit more stretch in your body. Placing your hands underneath your feet if you can this time. Gazing towards the big toes. And let's take four deep breaths here. Just scanning your body, noticing how it's feeling. Connecting with the stretch through the legs and the lower back. And then release. Give your legs a little shake. And then let's come back to our tabletop pose. And we're going to do pigeon. So having our knees underneath our hips and our hands underneath our shoulders we're going to take the left knee forward and place the left foot on the right side of the mat and slide the right knee back a little bit so you're feeling a nice stretch through the left glute area the palms of your hands are on the mat lifting the chest up nice and tall and sliding the right foot back a little more till you feel that nice stretch and let's take four breaths here So this really helps to release the glute and any stiffness you might have in the lower back. Then we're going to take our hands, our forehands down to the mat. You can stay on the palms if you wish, or you can come down to the forehands on the mat and we'll take four more breaths. So it just intensifies it a little more. One more breath and then bring your palms back up to the mat and come back to tabletop position and then take it to the other side. So we're going to bring the right knee forward, lifting up the left knee and place the right foot on the left side of the mat and then slide the right foot back a little bit. So until you feel a stretch through the left, the right glute area so we're getting a nice stretch through the pigeon pose let's take four deep breaths here lifting up through the chest good and one more breath and then bring our forehands down to the mat 
intensify it a little more. You can bring your forehead down to the mat as well if you wish. I invite you to close your eyes and just focus on where you're stretching it and, and your breath. And last breath here. And then coming back up onto your palms and bring your body back into tabletop position. And let's take our knees wide, bring our buttocks down to our heels and walk our hands forward as we bring our forehead down to the mat. Just coming into child's pose, rinsing out our back after all that twisting we just did. Two more breaths here. And then coming back up to child's pose, oh, sorry, back up to tabletop, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up into downward dog, pressing the heels down into the mat and a nice stretch down the back of the legs. And then bring your knees back down to the mat and come onto your back, hugging your knees to your chest. And just doing some nice little circles, going in one direction and then the other, loosening up that whole lower back area. And then bringing the heels in close to the buttocks, place your palms on the mat. And we're gonna inhale, lift up our hips, Nod our chin into our chest and press through the heels and then bring the hands up over your head to the ground behind you. Squeezing the buttocks, lifting up as high as you can, press them through the heels and then exhale, slowly lower your spine down to the mat like a bike chain and bring your hands back by your side. Let's do three more rounds, just in your own time. As you inhale, lift up. Two more rounds. Last round, just slide your heels in a little closer to the buttocks. Inhale, lift up high as you can. Hands over the top of your head to the ground behind you. Squeeze the buttock, press through the heels, nod the chin in and exhale. Slowly come back to the mat and then reach up and hug your knees to your chest. You can rock and roll from side to side or roll in a circle. And then reach through the center of your knees to grab the outside edge of your feet. Lift your feet up and come to happy baby, flattening out the lower back and pressing your heels slightly into the inside edge of your knees. Let's take four breaths here. And then release your feet down to the mat. And we're gonna come into our legs up position next. So you can bring your legs up beside a wall or some furniture or place a bolster underneath you into a supported legs up, or you can lift your body up into a shoulder stand, whatever you feel like doing today. As you inhale, bring your feet up. And just give your ankles some nice little circles. Up in the air, a little bit of a shake in the legs. And then take your feet out wide. So coming back to your breath. And bending your knees and bring the soles of your feet together like a butterfly. And then inhale, lift your feet up nice and tall again. If you're in shoulder stand, you can take the feet over the head 
towards the floor behind you into flower pose. Otherwise, just keep your feet up in the air. And then inhale, slowly lower the body down to the mat. And come into a comfortable position for Savasana. You might like to have your knees bent to support your lower back. Placing the palms face down on the mat. Nice and comfortable through the head. If you have an eye pillow, you can use that or a blanket. It's getting nice and comfortable. We'll have a nice, relaxing Savasana for a few minutes, just enjoying all the beautiful yogic energy we've cultivated through our asana today. I invite you to close your eyes and come back to your breath. Starting to come back to your breath and wiggling your fingers and toes. Stretching out through the hands and the feet. And when you're ready, slowly roll to one side. While you're in one side, just resting there, I've got some little five yogi things to do for homework for next week. Coming into the Christmas period, it's really nice to spend a little bit of time doing a little bit of yoga. So the first one is to find your mantra during the next week, and that might be I am enough, I am grateful, whatever it is, something that's important to you. And the second one is choosing one yogi thing to do, and it might be our yoga class next week, or it might be doing a single pose, your favorite pose each day. Or it might be taking, stopping and pausing, taking 10 deep breaths. And the third one is to actually breathe. 
when you feel a little bit stressed or overwhelmed, just take a big breath out, big sigh, like, <sighs> and breathing with your nostrils, breathing in through the nostrils, breathing count for two on the way in, pause for two, and count for two on the way out. And then the fourth thing you might like to take a child's pose whenever you feel you need a child's pose for a bit of rest. And the last one is to take a downward dog pose when you feel the need. And it might be against a piece of furniture or down on the ground, whatever works for you. So coming into a comfortable seated position, bring your hands to heart center. And let's bring our hands to our forehead for kind thoughts, to our lips for kind words, and to our heart for kind heart. Namaste. Thank you for being here today for your beautiful yogic energy. You have increased your vibration and all of us in our group, as well as everyone that we come into contact with. So a beautiful little bit of calmness 